Hey, y'all, barbers, wake up, man. So, one of the biggest fears that a barber have is losing clients. You might not want to say it. You may be in abundance. You may feel like you can cut good and people going to choose you regardless. But let's keep it real. Most barbers' biggest fear is losing clients. We work on our craft every day. We try to get better at cutting hair. We try to get better at our customer service. We try to get better at our timing. All these different things in order to retain clients. We are trying to become irreplaceable, right? We don't want people to be able to go to the next barber and get something that they getting from us for maybe a cheaper price or the other barber just do it better. And like I said, a lot of us barbers work very, very hard to intentionally get better so we can become irreplaceable. That way we can keep our clients for as long as possible. So I'm gonna tell you three things that I did in order to retain clients for the long term and they made me irreplaceable as a barber. So number one, no late fees. So instead of charging late fees, ask your client, why is tardiness an issue? This person may have had a problem with being tardy in a lot of different areas in their life. And we all know how you do one thing is probably how you do everything. So if they constantly tardy for their haircut appointment, then they're probably late for everything else. This is a problem to speak to your client about. You want to help them develop in that area if they are willing to. So instead of charging their late fee, which can run people off, because when you charge a late fee, what they gonna say? They gonna say, okay, so when you late, do I get a discount as well? That right there causes conflict between the barber and the client because it's a double standard. You don't wanna charge a late fee when you're trying to have a client for the long term because if you're gonna have a client for five and 10 plus years, you mean to tell me in five to 10 years, Neither one of y'all gonna be late for y'all appointment. A lot of barbers try to charge this late fee as if they just standing on business and they got this structure and they time just worth so much money when really you just trying to take advantage of someone's weakness in order to make a couple of extra dollars. Instead of charging a late fee, speak to that client about their tardiness. They probably tardy in a lot of different areas and they may need some help with that. If you know how to be on time, talk to them about some methods or some strategies that they can use in order to be on time. And if you help them with that, of course, they got to be willing to receive the game. But if you can help them with that, now you are irreplaceable. You just help them with not just being on time for their appointments, but being on time in other areas in their life. They'll never forget you with that. And in that case, you are irreplaceable. So the second thing is... When you see a client stop coming as frequently as they used to, speak to them on how to make more money. Cole, what you mean? Glad you asked. So when you see a client stop coming as frequently as they were, most of the time it's because they can't afford the haircut. Maybe they lost their job. Maybe they're having other financial troubles in their life. Maybe they added some more responsibilities, whatever it may be. Most of the time, it has something to do with their finances, right? I need you to speak to their financial problem. I need you to possibly help them come up with new ideas and new ways to make money, right? Talk to them about budgeting. Talk to them about building credit. Help them build their financial knowledge, just try to help them get better financially. What most barbers do is when a client stop coming as frequently, they start to try to shame their client. They try to talk down on them, act like, oh, you didn't, you didn't got broke or you can't keep up with my prices or whatever, right? But if this person didn't stop coming to you, they just stopped coming so frequently, something made a change. Most of the time, when you ask them, they say, yeah, man, you know, you know, either the haircuts got expensive, you know, I had to cut back or, you know, I had to kind of cut back on my spending. It's something. And you speak to them about that. And if you can help them in any kind of way with the knowledge that you have about money or making money in other different ways, help them out. And if you can help them get out of a bad financial situation 
or increase their financial knowledge and then they apply these things in their life and it actually work guess what you are irreplaceable and the last thing is if a client starts to be low vibrational you know they just had that negative spirit that negative vibe all of a sudden instead of you returning that energy i need you to try to inspire them with positivity you see they come in they may be down about some things in their life you don't know they may lost their job they may lost their gal or they may lost a family member you don't know but you want to try to inspire them with positivity do not return the negative energy see the haircut alone is going to change the vibe of a person if you're a true barber then you know that but if you also can inspire them with a haircut and positive words positive affirmations positive actions positive vibes they just got transformed by this haircut and they got some positive vibes from you how many times have a client came in all down and shit and sat in the chair and then they get up happy and inspired because of you not just the haircut because you was positive in return right but i need you to inspire them so when they are low vibrational you inspire them with positive energy i've seen barbers return the negative energy and then now you're getting into it with the client you just lost the client because they had one bad day when instead you could have just inspired them with positive energy people don't forget things like this people don't forget when you make them feel better they'll attach your brand to making them feel better that's with haircuts and your positive energy and that may sound so common but it's not you do that you are irreplaceable my point is this be a beacon of positivity inspiration and wise counsel that's the barber that cannot be replaced y'all like the video comment subscribe and most importantly wake y'all asses up